It's the most common reasons your body itches and smells today. And right now we're joined by dermatologist Dr. Ava Shamban because our next topic is all about annoying bug bites. Welcome. Thank and, and you. This Thank is something you. that people have all these questions about. They don't know if bug bites are dangerous, how in the world they treat them. So we have Lisa on the line. She has a question she's itching to ask us. <laughs> so what's up, Lisa? Okay, my question is, um, it seems like I've always been a magnet for fleas since I've had my pug sleeping with me in the bed. And just the thought of them crawling in my body really creeps me out. And I just wanted to know how I can treat the bites and the marks and how can I get rid of the fleas. So how many dogs do you sleep with, Lisa? I sleep with three. <laughs> well, it may not be... Her that's attracting the fleas necessarily, right? <laughs> no, I think it's the dogs. Lisa, I think it's your adorable puppies that are attracting the fleas. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that your dogs are flea free because otherwise they, they like a warm smell and they're going to bite you in, over the dogs. And okay, then this, I and the second thing is the fleas drop onto the carpet and they're not pole vaulters, so they will only bite you up to the knee. But with their in, if your pets with the fleas are in the bed with you, they can bite you anywhere. In terms of, and in terms of after you get a flea bite, you get, there's an allergic reaction, so you can get a very itchy bump. And what's really important to do is not scratch, because that's going to make the bump bigger, and it could cause infection, as well as scarring. And there are things that you can use to put on the bite. You can first cleanse the area to make sure that there isn't an infection. And the next thing is use this, the standard calamine lotion or an ice pack, as well as a Benadryl cream or a hydrocortisone cream. Now, you have some marks on your leg? Yeah, and I'm really embarrassed about them. I wish I could banish them and make them go away. <laughs> to me, what do you think? It looks like there's some red, some red areas as well as some brown areas. And what can happen, especially if you have a little bit more pigment in your skin, is that after the inflammation goes away, you can be left with a brown spot. And the brown spot can take a while to go away if you don't treat it. And if you do, you can look for an over-the-counter skin lightening cream that will help them disappear. But the most important thing is prevention is part of the cure. So make sure that your home and your bed and your dogs are flea free. And one of the things you can do at home is just make sure you vacuum your carpets, vacuum underneath the bed. Do this for at least 10 days because some of those adult fleas can actually still come out of their cocoon. You want to spray the areas where fleas, you feel like the infestation is. And the other thing is, like Ava said, treat your pets and you'll treat the fleas that are biting you. And you brought up an interesting point because people are asking, why would you use something like calamine or why do you use antihistamines or steroids? It's because if you look at this animation, anytime there's anything biting you, you can have a reaction to it, right? Whether it's a spider That's bite, right. a mosquito bite. And in this case, we're, we're looking at a mosquito. If a mosquito bites your skin, it actually will release some saliva into that skin to help the female absorb more blood. Tasty fact, right? Well, those little green dots, that's histamine that gets released. What that histamine does is it actually causes those blood vessels around the area of the bite to dilate. That causes a bump. It causes redness and itching. But itching does nothing but irritate it further, make it worse. That's right. Do not scratch. If you do, you run the risk of infection and a permanent scar. And when, when do we have to be seen? after a bite. If you notice, if you've had the bite more than three or four days and you've tried some at-home remedies, which could include aloe gel from the plant or from a bottle, or even baking soda mixed into a paste, if that doesn't work and a week later your, the bite is actually changing from itchy to painful, that's the time to see your doctor because you could have a skin infection. Well, Lisa, we want to thank you so much for joining us. Good luck with your dogs and the flea problem. Thank you, Travis. Thank you, Ava. Thank you so much. They're adorable. Enjoy they really them. Are. So you don't have to get rid of the dogs. Just get rid no. of the fleas. Thank you, Dr. Shanban. We really appreciate it. Coming up, it's the scoop on poop. What causes it to smell in the first?